About a week ago, we became concerned about our AIS when we realized we were seeing targets only a couple miles away instead of the normal 10 plus miles. So yesterday, I went up to the top of the mast to take a look at the connection of our VHF antenna to clean the connection off and add some dielectric grease, hoping that that would fix the problem, but it did not. So it wasn't as simple as uh, cleaning the connection. We really do have a bad antenna. So after a uh, mile and a half walk to the West Marine today, we have a new antenna and Linda gets to go up to the mast again. So we're gonna take her up on the main halyard. This is a very strong Dyneema core line. And we'll have the Spinnaker halyard as a backup because we're very safety conscious about this stuff. So here we go. So you do a figure of eight. Extra long tail, run it through the chair, come back up and basically double every place that it goes. Just follow around the path. Around. Back up out. And there is a really secure climbing knot. With another figure eight on our backup line, which is pretty much overkill. But this is a pretty new Bosun's chair, it's in very good shape. The webbing's all very strong. It's got a really strong uh, bottom to it. This is where a lot of people end up falling is because their chair disintegrates. They keep it in the locker and it gets wet and rotted. Right there. Target's out to 11, 12 miles now. Right there, that's 12 miles. Beautiful. Yep, this is the 10 ring. So a whole bunch within, within the horizon here. Excellent. After transiting through the busy New York City area with the temporary antenna, it was great to get this properly fixed. This is the antenna we've had for three years. Our VHF and AIS was working perfectly up until Hampton, Virginia. And now we can finally put away this ugly uh, temporary antenna that's been, uh, uh, it's working great now. We're getting uh, AIS targets out to 10 and 12 miles and we're getting an automated radio check answer from a station that's 10 miles away. So uh, all is well with radio on Argonne.